Welcome to another episode of Should You Buy. Today we're talking about my favorite starter ship. It may not be the best ship in the game, but it's the best at getting you into the verse. The Aegis Dynamics Avenger Titan. Let's talk about what makes it such a great starter and should you spend the extra money on it. First up, the pros. Number 1. It's weapons and components. When it comes to starters, the Titan is one of the best starting loadouts. It's not perfect, but the Titan can hold its own in PvE and even some PvP fights. 1 size 4 and 2 size 3s is a great amount of DPS for a starting ship. Upgrade the weapons and shields and you've got yourself a decent ship for most missions. I'll leave an Urkel link in the description to show you what weapons and components I recommend. That way you can get the most out of your Titan. Number 2. Its fuel capacity is very, very good. If you're just starting out, you'll probably crash into the ground before you have to land and refuel. Depending on if you're flying in ammo or space or boosting a lot, the Titan can last well over an hour of flight time without refueling. Less refueling equals more gameplay. Number 3. Its size. Like other starter ships, it's perfect for doing bunker missions, especially if the turrets are hostile. The bigger your ship is, the harder it is to squeeze behind cover. That's not an issue for the Titan. Plus, its quick entry makes it ideal for getting on and off a bunch if you're doing bunker missions back to back. Number 3. The Starting QT Drive Why the Expedition isn't quite as efficient as the Atlas, as a base QT range of 59 million kilometers, the Expedition is perfect for a new player not having to worry too much about running out of fuel. Plus, the speed is almost the same as the Atlas. When it comes to size 1 drives, this is a decent one. Number 4. The internal cargo space of 8 SCU gives you plenty of room for boxes, friends, loot, and even very small-scale contraband trading. It's not the ship of choice when it comes to smuggling, but it's a great way to get started. And you can even fit a Nox or a PTV in the back if you're brave. Number 5. The double entrance makes for getting in and out quick painless. This is especially helpful if you're leaving a combat zone quickly or having the cockpit entry so you don't have to open your ramp and expose it to stowaways. Number 6. In the unlikely event that you are boarded, it is almost impossible to shoot the pilot from behind the seat. So if someone sneaks on board, they're very unlikely to kill you unless you get out of your seat. And the last pro is the bed log. Bed logging is a huge pro when it works, so uh, maybe we'll count this as a half pro. But bed logging is a huge pro whenever you need a server hop or you just want to log off for the night and you don't want to have to go through the pain of landing at a station and storing your ship before you log off. Now let's talk cons. Number one, the first and probably the worst con of the Titan is it's not a strong defensive ship. If you run into trouble, your best course of action is typically running away. And to be honest, it's not even that amazing at that. It's not a fighter and it shouldn't be flown as one. When it comes to starter ships, it may be one of the best combat-wise, but the Titan's destination should not be sweaty PvP or even PvE. It handles alright in space, but if you take a fight with PvE or PvP in ammo, you're basically done for. So unless you want to end up in a medical bay, you'll want to handle combat in ammo very carefully. Yes, there are pilots that can make flying the Titan look easy in combat, but that doesn't mean that you are one of them. The farthest I would take the Titan in combat is VHRT PvE missions. And even those can get a little sketchy, again, mainly in atmosphere. And that is it. So should you buy the Titan? Well, starting with an in-game purchase of 785,600 AUEC, it's going to get an in-game purchase rating of 7 out of 10. Why? Well, because if you already have an Aurora or a Mustang, in my opinion, the next best step is the Cutlass Black. And that's for just over half a million more. It's a great ship to have, but if it's not your starter ship, it's not quite worth buying in my opinion. But if you're looking for a stepping stone between the Aurora and Mustang to the Cuddy, then this might be for you. Next is the real money rating. With the game package at $70 and the standalone at $55, this is going to get a real money rating of 9 out of 10. It is not the cheapest way into Star Citizen, and that's why it's not a 10 out of 10, but the Titan is truly the best way to learn the game in my opinion. I'm perfectly happy with an Aurora, but I'm sane enough to know that the Titan is leagues better if you're starting out in the verse and you want an easy entry. And that's it! Let me know if you have any other pros or cons for the Titan in the comments. And what ship would you like to see featured next on Should You Buy?
Thanks for watching, and this is Bert signing off.